Hello awesome people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do makeup unboxings and makeup try-ons. And today I'm going to be trying on some makeup that I received in my $99 mystery box from Poshmark. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it up here so you can check it out after this video or before if you'd like. I already did my brows with my um, LA Colors Browy Wowie Brow Pencil, and I went ahead and primed my eyes with my Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer to go ahead and get that over with. I want to apologize for my lighting, and yes, I know I'm in a new area. My daughter had surgery, I'm helping her right now, and her bathroom is the only place that I can get a video done and out for you guys, and I didn't want you guys to wait over a week before I got to get to another video and got home. So, with that being said, uh, I did decide to try this Sephora um, eyeshadow. Um, the Sephora um, Eye Stories palette, Fresh Florals. I did decide to keep that, um, but I wish I wouldn't have. I wish I would just put it in the giveaway. I'm very disappointed with it. Um, I wasn't sure what to do. These are the colors, guys. So as you see, I've already played with it. Uh, today I decided to do the primer because, well, the other day, the other two times that I played with this palette, I didn't use a primer and I could not get the color to build. I could not get it to look like the browns or the pinks or even the yellow. Like, it looked like I put no makeup on my face at all. So today I decided that I was going to go ahead and put the primer on and see if I can do something with it. If not, then I guess I... Uh, do not recommend this palette to anyone because it's just not going to be worth it. But I'm going to start out with the florist color right here. I'm going to try to do a more um, natural slash neutral look today. So let's see. And the crazy thing, I hope this works. It's looking way better than it ever did before because if it works with the primer, then it's going to be worth it. I don't know, because it did this before. It looked beautiful as I was putting it on, and then when I would go to add another color, it's like it just disappeared. And I was like, what is going on here? Alrighty. Looks like it's doing a little better, actually. Also, I am just using my... Alright, guys. Um, I had to do a little edit there because my granddaughter snuck in and um, I don't want y'all to see her. So um, I don't know exactly where I left off. Uh, so anyways, I did the florist color and I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Now I'm going to use the rosebud, which is the lighter color. And um, I s I'm just going to put this up here and then I'm going to blend it with this one I would normally put the lightest color on first but the other day I messed up and I had to do it this way and I end up liking it a lot better actually I do have to say though I'm a little bit more impressed because it's actually the colors are actually staying on so I'm assuming you have to use a primer with this um, palette because if not, it's not going to work for you at all. Oh yeah, um, I went in with the Orchid. It's like a purplish pink. I don't even know if you guys can tell because the lighting is so bad, but oh well, we'll figure it out, right? Okay. So that is that look. Um, let me see. Let me grab another brush really quick. Because, because, because. Uh-oh, I didn't bring it. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, I didn't even bring all my. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this um, petal color here. It's like a shimmer color. I'm going to go ahead and pack it in on my eyes. I really don't like using my hands for anything like that, but when you forget your brushes. Oh, well, right? Got to do what you got to do. Oh, I like that. Okay. So I'm going to take this brush back. Blend it a little bit. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go ahead, pause you all, do my other eye, and I'll be right back. See, and I also got this um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil from my mystery box. And um, I have used it. Um, I used all of the stuff at least once trying to do a look. Um, but I didn't like how they turned out. And I, um, I wasn't really recording them either, so... Uh, I found a mirror. I don't do winged eyeliner because I'm not very good at it. I've practiced a couple times with the tape, but I'm still not very good at it. So I am 41, so I'm going to do my eyeliner like a 41 year old. No, if you're 40, if you're in your 40s and you do winged liners, that's awesome. You rock. But I can't. I never have been able to. <laughs> I forgot that I had a other mirror on it. The other side. And the crazy thing is, is this is my freaking mirror because I forgot that I brought it with me. Okay. <laughs> crazy is crazy. You know, when you turn. When you get into your 40s, you know, you uh, start to lose your mind and your memory. At least that's what's happening to me anyway, so. I don't know about it. This stuff is really dark, too. I forgot how dark it was. Oh, well. So it goes on really... Easy. It'll work. I'll fix it. I'm fixing it as I'm going along. All right, and then I'm running out of space to put everything. <laughs> it's almost as bad as my couch, huh, guys? Okay. Well, I'm putting foundation on, so I fix it with foundation. No biggie. Can't stress over makeup. Everything's washable, so if you can't fix it. With more makeup, you can wash that crap right off your damn face and not even have to worry about it, right? Right. And do it all over again. I have done that many of times. Oh, yeah. So this is my, um, shit. I do that a lot, guys. This is my Winky Lux So Extra by, or is Winky Lux the name? I don't know. This right here. That's the mascara that I got in my box. And I like the mascara a lot better than the eyeliner. Um, I'll probably never use that eyeliner again, honestly. But I wanted to show you that it does go on really easy. It's really dark. It's super thick. Mascara though, if I have to use like five of them to get the effect that I want, and by God, I might as well do. So you can't really go wrong with mascara. And I've figured out that if you coat your eyes multiple times with mascara and you have a waterproof one, Use the waterproof one last because it covers everything and then all of your mascara is waterproof. And I um, put this to the test actually. Went swimming. And guess what? 
I didn't fall off or, you know, look like I was, um, not fall off, it didn't blend or make it look like I was crying or whatever, you know. So, I was like, heck yeah, because I've done my waterproof ones first and then the other ones and then, you know. Alrighty, and so I'm going to go ahead and prime my face, put my foundation on because that stuff isn't new. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I got that done. If you're curious, I used my No um, Pore Bloom Primer by Touch and Soul, my favorite. Um, I used my e.l.f. Um, Acne Fighting Foundation in beige. Um, and I went ahead and did under my eyes. I used my Florist and Petal Palettes to finish that up, just to get it done and over with. Um, I will say that I love my ELF foundation. It is not um, full coverage. I don't know if it is buildable because I don't care to build it up. I'm, you know, an older lady and I'm not trying to hide. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys. This like lighting is horrible. Alrighty. Okay, that might be a little bit better. I don't know. Anyways, so um, the next Thing, and I don't use this stuff very often. Um, so this is the Makeup Forever um, Professional Paris Ultra HD Micro fin Micro Finish Loose Powder. All right. Don't use powders very often, and um, so. Alright, so like I was saying, I don't really do powder very well, so I played with it a couple of times. I don't know if I did it right. We're just going to do this. Please tell me if you know about powder. I don't want a lot of it. But I don't want to just put it under my eyes because I'm an oily person, so I feel that it should probably go everywhere, but I don't want a lot. Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if I'll keep using this because I really don't know what it's supposed to do. <laughs> All right, so then after I do that, oh, you're not supposed to do that. Oh, there it is. Good thing I didn't wash them, huh? I'm going to do that, and then I'm just going to take this like this and kind of brush everything off so maybe I didn't get in my skin all the way. Okay, guys, so that is that. And then I also received this right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Color Coded Eyeshadows. And I'm going to tell you, I absolutely love it. I have played with it. Um, I don't know if I'll do a video with it it's because it's just, you know, I don't know if I'll do just an eye look. But I wanted to show you guys again them colors. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. I love it when I do like a super, super, really, really no makeup makeup look. Those work great for me. Um, and then I also received this NARS um, blush. And it is in, um, I don't know how to pronounce that, guys. See that? Okay, so that's the shade that it's in. And it is super pretty, the actual shade itself. Let me go ahead and get that open. Get that mirror out of the way. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I um, have been using it a little more than I probably should. So I figured I really needed to get this video up and going because, yeah. So I switched with my um, blush again. I can't make up my mind what I like better, but at the moment I'm loving this again, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. So I didn't do any um, contouring or bronzing. I don't do that all the time, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly where it all goes to make my face look good. I really don't think how I do it makes my face look good, so I'm really not trying to attempt it too much, um, especially not on videos. So I also received the Honeymoon in Cute Beauty lipstick. And I do love this. I do love it. I do love it. I've used it um, more than I should without videoing. 
that is super nice. You'll see that I've already been putting this on my lips. Let me grab my mirror over here. Okay. And then... Mm. <laughs> I do love it. Love it, love it, love it. Alrighty. And then after that, um, I've been going in with my um, Dior Addiction Lip Glow. It's like, it says it's pink and it kind of, I don't know, when you put it on by itself, um, I don't really see a pink or anything. But I have noticed that when I um, add a lipstick that's kind of a matte that dries down and I add a little bit of this. Just a little bit, just top lip and then blend it with my bottom lip. It gives it like that perfect moisture and um, makes it feel creamy and not so matte and it lasts longer. But alrighty guys, so this is what I ended up with. I'm going to come in really close. You guys see? You guys see mama's pores? Yeah, I don't care to hide any of that anymore. Like, that's too much work. Um, unless y'all know an easier way to do it. But um, that's what I came up with. So I like everything um, but the Sephora palette, honestly, because I don't use the eye primer all the time. I normally don't have to. Normally, I don't know why people do, actually, because a lot of um, foundations, if they have really good pigment, they just stick to your eye anyways, I'm finding. Or if you use your setting spray, it works wonders. But all right, everybody, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome. Peace.